Hi, I'm Pam East, and today I'm going to talk to you about trivets and firing spatulas. I've been an enamelist since 1997, and in that time I have probably tried every single enameling trivet ever made. And some of them are quite good, but none of them was ever just exactly what I wanted. When I decided to produce my own enameling kit, I wanted the perfect trivet. I wanted a trivet that would work well both in large kilns and small kilns like the Speedfire Electric Mini or other trinket kilns. And I wanted just one trivet that would do it all so I wouldn't have to have different kits with different options. So I sat down and I developed this adjustable enameling trivet. It is self-racking, it has little feet on it, so you don't need to use it with a firing rack. That's what makes it good for the smaller kilns. And you can just pick it up like that. Um, and this one is great. It does almost everything I want it to do. The only thing that, if you're doing a long, thin shape, a three-point trivet can be, it can be hard to balance a long, thin shape on a three-point trivet. So I also developed a four-point trivet that will uh, accommodate and hold long, thin shapes steady. And just like the other one, it's low profile. It can be work in a small kiln or a large kiln, and it can be picked up with the firing spatula. So here's an example of a long, thin piece that I might want to enamel. And as you can see, it, it, they're kind of hard to balance in the three-point trivet, but they balance really neatly in the four-point trivet. You could also do, because of the way I've designed this, you could very easily do a pair of earrings, both pair at the same time, both earrings at the same time, if it was a long, thin shape this would be an appropriate trivet for that. The three-point trivet, this is nice. It can do all kinds of sizes from very, very tiny up to much larger. So here's a small earring, and I could make some, something even smaller than that, and it's absolutely steady in there. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, and I can do ob obviously do larger shapes. And one of the things about this design is I did make it to be adjustable, and that's I can open it up, make it a little wider, and then when it's at the wider shape, I can actually do much larger pieces with it. So it's got a lot of versatility. This is my universal firing spatula. It is a folded design so that it stores very neatly and travels very neatly. You don't need some really long space to store it. And to set it up, you just Unscrew the little wing nut, unfold it, and put the wing nut back on. And that is all there is to it. This is really easy. And it's very sturdy. It's got a nice, firm um, design. And it's ready to go. Firing spatulas traditionally have square ends. This wouldn't work for the kind of trivet that I designed. I came up with this tapered end so that it would work with the, my small trivets, but it's still wide at the back, so it'll still pick up large firing racks. That's why I call it a universal firing spatula, because you can use it for the very small trivets, or you can use it with your regular large firing racks. So setting up the trivet is a it's really quick and easy. It ships flat, and it does come with printed instructions. The trivet has a fold on one side, and it's open on the other side. Um, so what I'm going to do is just take a pair of pliers, and I'm going to grasp the trivet right at the bottom of the V on the fold side. So here we go. I'm going to just go ahead and grasp this. Get it on there just right, and I'll hold it up so you can see it. All right, so there it is. I'm holding it on the fold side of the V, and then I'm just going to pull open the fins. And it really is this simple. It's, it's not complicated at all. And that's it. That's all there is to setting up that trivet. Setting up the four-point trivet 
has a few more steps. It isn't any harder, it just takes a little longer. It also ships flat, just like the other one, but instead of being folded, it's just one long flat shape. And each of these little fins has to be folded up. They are scored, cut, and they are cut so that it makes it easy to bend them up. So I'm just going to take the pliers and bend it like that. And I'll just go and do each little fin It's always interesting trying to do this so that you can see it in a video. So you can see I have it half folded up now. And now I'm going to do the other side. These are not terribly difficult to bend. They're, they're sturdy enough for enameling, but they're not too hard to bend into shape. Which is nice because if it gets warped as you're using it, you can always Rebend it back into shape. And I'm just going to go through and I'm, I'm lining up the fins, just looking down on it. So now I've got, I've got the, the, the points up and I have to do the feet. Now the feet design on this is really interesting. It has a little curve on this side. It's curved in on this side and it's out on this side. And what happens is when you fold these down, you end up with a three point trivet. And that's really nice because um, it's more stable. It doesn't rock. If it was trying to be four points, it might rock. But because of the way this is designed, it's three points and it doesn't. And it just sits there nice and steady. And that's it.